Collagen is one of the most misunderstood supplements out there. People claim it fixes everything from wrinkles to your joints to gut health, but most of what you hear is probably wrong. So let's break down the top five biggest collagen myths and learn what actually works. Collagen myth number one, collagen is a low quality protein. This is technically true, but irrelevant. The amino acid profile doesn't matter. It's your body's biological response to consuming collagen that stimulates collagen production. Even many experts miss the forest for the trees here. Collagen myth number two, mixing collagen in coffee destroys it. This is not even close. Collagen starts degrading around 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Your coffee is brewed to probably 185 degrees, so the heat will not damage it or take away the benefits in any way. Collagen myth number three, collagen is just broken down like any other protein. This is half true, but again, missing the point. About 15% of the collagen peptides you consume are absorbed intact, and this is what triggers your body's natural collagen production. The other 85% is just bonus protein, but the 15% is what actually does the work. Collagen myth number four, collagen is denatured during manufacturing, so it's useless. Again, true, but a moot point. Denatured means it's been broken down into peptides that are still bioactive and still beneficial. I think people confuse denatured with degraded or destroyed, but there's a big difference here. And collagen myth number five, all collagen is the same. And again, no, there are a few different types of collagen. The main ones you'll see are type two collagen, which is essentially an anti-inflammatory and requires a much smaller dosage. And then types one and three collagen, which is typically what you see in a powdered format. Think of the type two collagens as your anti-inflammatories and your type one and three collagens which is typically your hydrolyzed collagen peptide powders as your structural rebuilder. For the type two collagen, you only need about 40 milligrams to get that anti-inflammatory effect. For collagen peptides or hydrolyzed collagen powder, you typically need somewhere between five and 15 grams, depending on the type to get the main benefit. It's worth noting that there's one type of collagen that stands apart because it's been tailored specifically toward connective tissue. These are called bioactive collagen peptides. This is the only collagen I take and the only type my company uses. I was a collagen supplement denier for years, but the research on this specific type really blew me away. If you wanna learn more, check out the link for saltwrap.com. There's a link in my bio and you'll learn more about the award-winning collagen that we sell called Collagen Synthesis. It is the most awarded science-backed stuff on the planet. If you found this post helpful or interesting, follow me for more practical health tips and to learn how to rebuild your body pain-free.